Okay, so in this video, we're going to be taking a look at some meta human creator update that came out today. So if you watched my previous video about the tutorial on how you can turn your own mesh into a meta human, well, this is where I stopped. I created this meta human from a photo scan model. So let's go ahead and edit this character and let's take a look and see what's changed here. So yeah, this thing hasn't been updated in a while, so kind of glad they have uh, updated it. Uh, so you can see right here, we have these different animations now. Facial poses, face roam, uh, ROM or, you know, range of motion there. You got body as well, body motions. They have a lot more, you know, motion for you to test your character in. It's a lot more than I remember, seriously. The most thing I'm really excited about is let's take a look at some, see what else changed. Looks like they have some new... I guess they just, yeah, yeah, that's a new, that's Amelia. I know that, but they created, I guess, new hair. So the skin, the eyes, I don't really see too much difference here. These are all the same. The teeth looks like it's the same. Okay, so this one looks different. And maybe a couple more. Yeah, Pandas Mush. I don't remember Pandas Mush. <laughs> but then again, it's been a while. We got some blush and then lips. Do we get more lipstick? I'm not sure. It's pretty amazing. Like a noob like me can just go here and be like, oh, let me go get a photorealistic character and a bunch of click and stuff. Um, and then hair. I guess that's not working. Oh, yeah, it is working. It's just changing. And let's look at the head. Ooh, this is exciting. All right. Those are, ooh, this is new. 360 waves. Yeah, absolutely. Let's go. Oh, dude, that looks dope. You know what it reminds me of? Drizzy. Actually, Eminem's hair can look like that too. Actually, if that wasn't curly, that that's how I get my haircut. But that that's dope. Okay, that's definitely welcome. Thank you for that. Um, balding right here. This is Yosef's haircut right here. My expert. That's good that they have that. So that's perfect, bro. I'm sure you're gonna be glad. Um, oh, they got us some cornrows. Okay, so now I can make me a busybone character. Boom, 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 boom. If you don't know who Busybone is, you're missing out. Uh, I actually saw this one coming because the Matrix demo, they have uh, the main character had cornrows. But that looks crazy good. Look at that. You can even see a little, of a, little bit of a flyaway right there. That is awesome. That looks great, guys. Thank you. All right, so this other hair, honestly, I remember, I know short swipes, side swept was there before. This is new, short casual. I don't remember this one. Okay, a little bit of Keanu Reeves hair there. I see that. Okay, this is like speed haircut, Keanu Reeves. Dope. And this is, <laughs> yo, this is, this is, uh, oh yeah. This is like Harry Potter, that Voldemort Gryffindorf guy, whatever is Snipes Wesley, whatever that hair. But this is actually Keanu Reeves's hair, baby. That is great. A lot of people say I look like Keanu, so maybe I can use some of that hair. So that's good. That's a Keanu haircut, and so is this. <laughs> I guess they added all the Matrix demo Keanu hair. This is freaking amazing, dude. This is great. This is awesome. This is, oh gosh, Nina and her team. Wow, this is awesome. And I guess this is again, oh no, this is Trinity or Infinity or Unity, whatever her name is in the Matrix. Is it Unity? Yeah, this is her haircut. That's great. That's awesome. That is oh, so good. Uh, looks like this one. I don't remember this one. Yeah, no, I do not remember Sudoku's hair being in here. But it looks like Sudoku's hair. That's good. That looks like a hot mess when rendering. Because look at all that hair. Nah. We're not going to use that unless we're making something scary. And we have a medium bob straight. Wait, I already looked at that one. Right? Or is that... Is that the same one? Nah, dude. That's, that's a different one. Wow. Yo, this hair looks good. And I actually told a... Told a cre uh, I told a CG artist, he was like, hey, do you, do you think I should make some more groom? I'm like, there, there's no point. Like, metahuman groom hairs are so freaking good looking that you just got to wait for them to come out with some more. And gosh, that's a really good hair. That looks cool. And I think if I remember correctly, I don't remember Chun-Li's hair being here before. 
this could actually be like uh, who's that girl from like CSI Miami or something? The IT girl. That's a really cool haircut. That looks awesome. Man, a lot of amazing additions here, guys. Uh, let's take a look at the details. Mm, hombre. 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 Isn't that like Mr. in Spanish? Hombre. So I guess you can kind of shift some colors around. Dude. Wow. Wait, that looks like Eleven's haircut. This looks freaking amazing. Gosh. You can mix and match it with a hombre, and there's some presets in there as well. Let's get some cyberpunk in there. You get some highlights as well. Yo. Yo. Gosh, I've never been so excited about hair in my life, but that looks incredible. Uh, let's look at some eyebrows. There's a couple of, yeah, there's definitely a lot more. Probably, again, from the Matrix demo. So this is probably Keanu's hair. Uh, medium eyebrows right here. Yeah, that could be Keanu. Oh, man. Eyelashes. Uh, maybe added one. I only recognize maybe one more slot in there. Mustache. Did we get some new mustache? I don't know. They all look the same to me, man. I don't know. It doesn't look like it. How about beard? Beard's the same. I don't remember. Yeah. I don't think they, they added too much in the beard category. Okay. Cool. What are these? And they're really editing custom mesh to use this tool. There's a couple of new tools, especially with the plugin. There's some advanced version, I guess. They'll hopefully make a doc. I'll write it in a documentation. Super cool. Let's go ahead and turn this up. All right. Let's go to Epic, dude. Yeah. So look at this. This is already a unique meta human. If you see this character in a in my movie, you won't be like, oh bro, it's a meta human. That looks pretty darn good. Wow. Proportions. Let's see if we got any more bodies here. No, it's about the same. Short, average, and tall. I don't mess with the head scale at all. Let's go ahead and change this to high. Let's look at tops. Oh, okay. So, does it look like they added much? Actually, this crew... T no, this crew t-shirt is... This is new. And additionally, it looks like you're going to add patterns in here now. Yeah, you can add patterns. So that's kind of cool for cats. <laughs> Yo, people with Epic Games, what, what's going on? Oh, yeah. So so again, with the MetaHuman Matrix demo, you saw all those patterns in that project. And obviously, I kind of knew it was going to come to here. So this is very good. And you can also add graphics as well. Granted, you could probably do this with like Quixel Mixer or whatever. But this is just cool that you can now do all this in-engine for more uh, customization. This is super cool. I love some of those patterns. Let's go to graphics. You can add graphics in there. Got a monkey. Everybody loves a monkey. All right, so right there, that's a freaking NFT right there, dude. Let's go ahead and sell that. Some glasses. So definitely a lot more customization, which is always, always welcome. That's a really co cool pattern. I can't even imagine how much work it took for them to do all this. All right, let's see if we got some shorts. Uh, we got jeans, slim jeans. That was there before. That was there before. Cargo was there. Yoga pants. Boom. What's up? What? Wait, 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 wait. wait. Time out. Give me a second. Yoga pants, mid thigh length. Oh, that's going to be my meta human character's shorts. Cyberpunk, my Zion, that's going to be his thing. And you got also a full length. So to all my yoga people, we made it. So this is good. And again, we can add some graphics in there if you want to. <laughs> That's cool. A zebra right there. Ooh, God's making me dizzy. Let's just go back. A lot of customization, I guess. Same graphics as well. And shoes. Did we get new shoes? Ooh, we got some bowling. Actually, there's some Michael Jackson shoes right here, man. A little bit of hee-hee. Let's go ahead and... Oh, yeah, that's definitely some NJ. Okay. Okay. All right, we got loafers. Ooh, dude, I think freaking Matt just made some loafers too. I think I saw Matt like make some loafers. This looks great. I wonder if Matt did this one because I know he was making some. And we got flats. Okay, we have a couple of options as far as shoes goes. So that's very, very good. Okay, so that is it. Pretty exciting stuff. 
and pretty amazing stuff. Because now I just created a new cyberpunk character. Obviously, I'm going to change this up. This is just a couple of clicks. So with that being said, what do you all think, man? I mean, honestly, I really hope maybe every year or so we would get updates like this. Because this, again, is so powerful. P powerful. This is such a powerful filmmaking tool right here. We don't have to wait for people. We can all make it ourselves right here, sitting on a chair in front of a computer. And it's freaking beautiful. All right. If you all have any questions, let me know. And again, if you haven't done so, if you want to see more Unreal Engine 5 content, go ahead and like and subscribe in my channel. I'm trying to hit 100K subs this year to kind of bring me some more sponsors or something. Peace out.